Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at highest common factor. Um, well, how to find highest common factor between two numbers. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so with this question, the first thing we want to be doing is uh, we want to actually write down all the factors of 24 and 32. Now, we did this in a couple of videos before in this series, so if you can actually go back and find it. Otherwise, stay till the end of the video and there will be a link popping up for this whole um, video series. So we're going to look at um, the factors of 24 first. So when I actually have 24, um, I know that I could actually write this as 1 times 24. Uh, I've also got 2 times 12. I've got 3 times 8. And I've got 4 times 6. So if I was to list down all the factors for 24, I am going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, what do I got? 8, 12, and 24. So these are all the factors of 24. Next, I want to write down all the factors of 32. So I've got 1 times 32, I've got 2 times 16. Uh, 3 really doesn't work, uh, so I've got 4 times 8. I think that's pretty much it. So with that in mind, I'm going to write down 32, and I'm going to write down all my factors of 32. So that's going to be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. So at this point, I'm looking for the highest common factor. What's a really good idea to do is first to kind of, um, you know, kind of highlight all your common factors. So in this case, one is a common factor, two is a common factor, four is a common factor, eight is a common factor, and I think that's pretty much it. So with that in mind, I can then say the highest common factor is going to be eight because that's, you know, that that's the biggest number no. <laughs> I'm losing my words here that's literally the highest common factor right because 8 is common uh, and it's the largest number as well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a little statement like this so we can say something like HCF 24 and 32 so that's pretty much saying that the highest common factor between 24 and 32 is actually equal to 8 all right looking at uh, the second problem in this question. We've got 30 and 64. So I'm going to write down all the factors of 30. So I've got 1 times 30. I've got 2. No, 1 times 30. Yeah, that's right. 1 times 30. 2 times uh, 15. I've also got 3 times 10. And I've got 5 times 6. So those are all the factors of 30. So I'm going to write that all the factors of 30 first. So I've got 30, then I've got 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Next, I'm going to write down all the factors of 64. Uh, what do we got? We've got 1 times 64, 2 times 32, 3 doesn't work. 4 times 16, 5 doesn't work, 6 doesn't work, 7 doesn't work and we've got 8 times 8. We got 4 times 8, yep. Now once I've done this, I'm going to write down 64's factors, which is going to be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. Next, I'm going to highlight all my common factors got one I've got two and I think that's basically it three four five six eight sixteen ten yeah no that's it there we go so in this case the highest common factor between uh, 30 and 64 is equal to 2 uh, that's just a quick example of a couple of quick examples of how to find highest common factors between two numbers all right folks that is basically it for this video as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content now there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here 
great material for revision and as always thank you for watching